Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're interested on this look, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Starting off crusty and dusty, we are gonna start with the hair. I'm just gonna part it in half and start from the bottom and then work my way up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just parting it into sections. Now I know I'm not the best when it comes to using a curling iron, but I have improved. So I'm just brushing out the section, going through it once, and then curling it away from my face. And I pretty much do this through the entirety of my hair. For the barrel that I'm using with the curling iron, I believe it is one and a half. I know it's not exactly two inches, it's a little bit underneath there. Um, I can't remember exactly what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's one and a half an inch. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. I also like the way my hair looks when it's split down the middle, so that's how I'm curling it is where it's split down the middle, and the rest is just being curled away from my face and I just feel like it helps with framing my face and delivering some balance. After I was done curling my hair I kind of just played with it to get it in the way that I liked it and then once I did that I went ahead and just pinned back my bangs so that we could start into the next process which is makeup. Starting with the brows, I am just brushing them up and brushing it outward and then I will go ahead and start filling my eyebrows in starting from the middle, so like the arch area and then a little bit to the top and then I'll work my way towards the front of the brow. As you see me doing here, I do overline my eyebrows just a little bit and extend them as well just to fit my face a little bit more. After my eyebrows are shaded where I want them to be, I just take the spoolie section and I just blend everything towards the front of my brow so that it looks a little bit more blended. Now I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my eyebrows. I'm using a POTS concealer. This one is by NARS. It's in the shade Macadamia and I'm just using that to clean up my eyebrows. I also like to put the concealer on my eyelid just because I feel like it acts as an eyeshadow primer. Um, it helps cancel out any of my veins that you may see popping out, so any greens and blues um, that are popping out on my eyelids. So I basically just use this as an eyeshadow primer as well. After concealing my eyebrows and my eyelid, I like to take a brush and just blend it out. You can use a sponge if you would like, but I typically just use a brush. Now 
now moving on to my base i'm just taking some moisturizer you could use whatever moisturizer you like this one i believe is by drunken elephants um i'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over my face Now going back to the eyes, I'm going to take this brown shade and I'm just going to go ahead and place that all over my eyelid. Now I'm taking this lighter nude shade and I'm just going to go ahead and place that directly underneath my brow just to have it highlight a little bit and blend in with the shadow color prior. Now I'm just taking a darker brown shade and I'm just going to put that towards my lash line and extend it out and then I'll blend it all in together. Now I'm just taking out this lighter shade in the palette. It's like a white with a pink undertone. I'm just gonna go ahead and place this in the inner corner of my eye because I do feel like it helps open up my eyes and make it look a little bit more brighter. Now I'm just going to go ahead and jump into foundation. I am using the NARS Matte Foundation in the shade of Vanitu. This foundation is very matte, so I am going to mix it in with the moisturizer. The same moisturizer that I used at the beginning of my video, which was the Drunk Elephant one. Now that I got the foundation and the moisturizer, I am using a brush. A foundation brush just to go ahead and start blending all of that out Then I like to go ahead and grab a beauty sponge just to press everything into the skin and make sure everything is blended out and that any extra foundation is absorbed into the sponge. Now I'm using the Merit Concealer in the shade Camel and I'm just going to go ahead and place that in areas that I want more coverage as well as a little bit more brightening. Now to blend out the concealer, I am using a concealer brush. If you would like to, you could use a beauty sponge. Um, but for me, I'm just using a brush to help clean it up a little bit, clean up my eyeshadow, straighten it up. And then I will go ahead and set that all with some setting powder. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and switch over to a sponge. I just like the way a sponge works. If I'm being honest, I like using a sponge more. Um, but yes, I am just going to go ahead and pick up any extra concealer, make sure it's blended out, and then I will go ahead and add the setting powder to those areas that I placed the concealer in.
I don't let the powder sit there too long, so I go ahead and go in with a face powder foundation. And I use a brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and place that all over my, my face, excuse me, while blending in and dusting off that powder that I had placed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this darker foundation shade. I like to use it to bronze up my face. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put that on the forehead, um, my jawline, my nose, and my cheekbone. I then go ahead and add some mascara to my lower lashes because I feel like my eyes are not complete unless I do this step. I feel like it just opens up my eyes and it also defines them. So I love using lower lashes, mascara, whatever. Now I'm just using some blush. This is a blush duo bronzer palette. I believe it's by Benefits. I got it from Sephora. Um, however, I do feel like the blush, you need to build it up. It takes some time. It's not fully pigmented. So I'm just building it up to my liking. I like to put it on my cheeks and my nose. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start lining my lips. This is the Skin Lip Liner by Kim Kardashian, it's her makeup brand. So I'm using this lip liner, I believe it's in Nude 15, and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips as well as filling in the corners a little bit. Using the same brand, I'm going in with the lipstick shade. However, this lipstick is not labeled, um, but it is one of the first shades of her collection for it. Then I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss in the shade Cocoa Drizzle, and I'm just putting that all over my lips. So now this is the final look. I'm just taking out my clips and then fixing my hair a little bit, but this is the makeup and the hair. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.